The man suspected of using a crossbow to kill a college co-ed will stand trial for murder. Today, a Superior Court judge ruled Cole Strandberg was not insane the day of the fatal attack and that a jury needs to hear both sides of the case. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live at the courthouse. And Jeff, even you were surprised by today's decision. And that's because both the defense and the prosecution agree that Strandberg does suffer from schizophrenia, that he was off his medications, and he does have a long history of mental illness. However, the question about whether or not he was insane the day of the killing was just too close a call for the judge to make, and so now that decision will be up to a Spokane County jury. The greatest tragedy here is that, that Jennifer Bergeron was 22 years old. She suffered a brutal death. It didn't happen quickly at the hands of Cole Strandberg. Cole Strandberg is accused of using a crossbow and other weapons to torture a woman to death here inside his Spokane apartment in January of 2008. He was having delusions on that date. He was being commanded by uh, this drill sergeant who he refers to as Smokey Kaiser. Um, and he was commanded or encouraged, motivated to commit this killing. Strandberg's defense attorney insists to his client those commands were very real, that even after the murder, Strandberg continued to obey those voices, including the order to surrender to police here at Sacred Heart Medical Center. And what does Mr. Strandberg do? He marches himself down like a good soldier to Sacred Heart Medical Center, and he reports that he's done something bad. But prosecutors think Strandberg only turned himself in when he realized he wouldn't be able to conceal the killing, that Strandberg's actions that day were more criminal than crazy. Mr. Strandberg tried to clean up the homicide scene, tried to get rid of a dead girl, was unable to do that. There's a thought process there, Your Honor. That's, there was nobody commanding to clean up the scene. I mean, Judge Terry Eitzen, who has handled this case for almost three years, believes that Strandberg is mentally ill. She even ordered he involuntarily receive psychotropic drug injections while awaiting trial in jail. However, today the judge said that she had not heard enough evidence to convince her that Strandberg was insane the day of the murder. The question, I believe, should be submitted to the jury who can hear all of the evidence from all of the witnesses firsthand. So for that reason, I'm denying the defense motion. And because that motion was denied, Strandberg will now stand trial on a first degree aggravated murder charge here on May 16th. Also today, both the defense and the prosecution criticized Spokane Mental Health for not acting on information that they had that Strandberg was threatening to shoot someone with a crossbow. We know that Spokane Mental Health had an opportunity to act. We wouldn't be here today had they done so. That's probably the greatest tragedy. The mental health system in this county not only let Mr. Strandberg down, they let Jennifer Bergeron down, they let this county down. And the fallout from that has been terribly tragic. From a very severe Spokane mental health, health officials say they cannot respond to that criticism, citing patient confidentiality regulations. Reporting live at the Spokane County Courthouse, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.